Good morning, my beautiful diamonds. Today is Sunday and it is a wonderful Sunday morning. I slept so beautifully. I want to talk about the passport bros. In case you're not familiar with who they are, these are the predominantly black men, but it's also men of other races who feel that they can't handle American women, that American women, we require too much because we are not weak-minded, we're not gullible, and we have boundaries that we insist that they adhere to. We're not willing to put up with abuse, drama, being disrespected, or misery any longer. So the passport bros said, we're out of here. We're going to other countries where women are more feminine. They associate femininity with you being a sucker a jackass and a fool. And that's what they say is feminine when you're willing to put up with abuse. But as American women and <laughs> women all over the country are starting to wake up and say, oh, hell no, uh, we, we're not going to put up with it anymore. So when these passport bros are going overseas to look for wives, boy, do they have a surprise waiting for them. Most of them end up, most of them end up getting robbed, getting beat up, <laughs> and being taken advantage of, you know, what they were setting out to do to those women. And it turns out that they're the ones who's on the receiving end. And now I'm listening to the Hey Voice guy, and he's speaking out about what these passport bros are really all about. Let me share this with you. And he's speaking everything he says, basically, majority of everything he says is 100% on point. Okay, here we go. Hit it. And I don't have to tell you what's going on behind me, okay? Passport bros have now changed their identity dun, 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 to <laughs> soft era, soft guy era, whatever. <laughs> but before we get started, I just want to say this. Estrogen is considered the female hormone. Testosterone is considered the male hormone. Now, both have both in their body, but predominantly men, we have more testosterone, women have more estrogen. I say that because biologically men, passport guys, bros, soft era, whoever you are today, you cannot biologically nor scientifically convert estrogen into testosterone or testosterone into estrogen, which I'm pretty much certain what it looks like you're trying to do remember i said remember i said though men have both estrogen and testosterone women have both estrogen and testosterone but lower levels of the opposite in other words we have more testosterone less estrogen right but maybe 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 biologically you know what i'm saying you, you would have larger amounts of est estrogen and thus making you feel like you know more like a woman like you want to be treated like a woman you want to you know want to act like a woman you want to you know do the things that women women do i you know i you know maybe i don't know i'm not really trying to make sense of it i think it's all funny as hell and goofy as shit and the fact that you would even want to do things that a woman does that innately makes her who she is blows my blows my mind like women are women for a reason. Innately, they are who they are. When you, when, you know when they have the, 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 remember back in the day, the clubs, right? Women getting free before up to midnight. Why did they do that? To attract men. Why? Because women have that thing, that thing, okay? That thing. You know, some of y'all, see, that's the problem. Some of y'all, I guess, ain't, can't get close to that thing. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe the price is too high. I don't know. Maybe you can't afford what, you, what you're going after, so you're getting upset. I don't know. But the fact that you want women to start doing for you the things that men have been doing for women for years is absolutely goofy. Absolutely goofy. 100% goofy. You, you, you can't expect that. And here's really, what's really funny. You all are basing this soft era, soft guy era, off of the soft woman era from 2023. Once again, why are you trying to do what women do? You can't. You can't walk unless you get, unless you know you get dressed up like that. That's your thing. That's your thing. 
But you just can't walk up in the club like a woman or go things get things like a woman. That's just a woman, man. That is the way the world is created, and there's nothing that you or I can do about it. Right? Now, you have another choice. You can say, you know what, I'm not going to deal with it, and you don't. Like, like if, if, if she's out your league, why are you worrying about it in the first place? How you, why are you worried that some man, that she has the power to ask a man to take her to a five-star restaurant and spend $500 on dinner? Why are you mad about that? <laughs> Why, why, if, if she can convince a dude to pay her bills, why are you mad about that? So you want now, you you want that. You you want you want the same thing she wants. You want now you want a woman to come in and bro, do you know how goofy goofy that sounds? I would love I would love to, to hear what your parents would say. Like, would your mom, would your dad say, you know what, son, what you're doing is a great thing. You know what? I did that to your mother. I made her take me to all the finest restaurants. Or your mother saying, hey, son, that's, you know, you're doing a great thing as a man. And, you know, your dad made me do that every. Bruh, do you know how goofy that sound? Just how goofy it sounded is how goofy that your whole philosophy on women sound. On dating. On on your role as a man, this period. Here's the thing, though. I'm not here to judge you. For me, I just try and make sense of the shit that don't make sense. Like, like, why? My door is always open. <laughs> we can always have a one-on-one -on -one discussion uh, on the platform in any way. You know, I, hey, listen, I welcome it. Because I would love to hear firsthand out of your mouth why, how, that even any of this even make, the, the, how does you, it don't, I just want to hear. I just want to hear. Um, you guys are an extension of Kevin Samuels. Um, <clears throat> yeah, another goof. Uh, definitely. A, he was the biggest. He was the king goof. And, and you all are following right behind him. It's almost embarrassing. Uh, good thing uh, I, I'm, I'm secure and standing on my own. Because uh, God knows if, um, if my position as a man was contingent on the representation. Mm, Mm -mm -mm. No, so I stand on my own. I don't stand with you guys and your goofy philosophies on on women and dating, or how women should be, or what you should be getting. You're men, okay? Uh, you're different, okay? At least on the outside. I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, Y'all do me a favor. Let me know what you think. Well, there you have it, my beautiful diamonds. What is your take, and what is your 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 opinion or your viewpoint in terms of, you know, you have a lot of these men who get very upset because they feel that women are getting so much more than what they're getting. You know, uh, when it comes to, uh, dating, you know, I, I always feel, you know, it, it, things, you know how I feel. I'm a 50, 50 type of girl when it comes to, if I'm married, if I'm living with a man, I believe in paying 50, 50 of the rent. And that's because I don't want no man thinking that he can control not only me, but my life. And when they feel that they're paying all the bills, they feel that they get to control you. You know, they feel that you really have no say so in the house because the first thing he'll slap you with is I pay all the bills up in this MF -er, or this, as they say, you know, um, when it comes to, uh, the utility bills and the food, I I'm a 50, 50 girl on that. A lot of women don't agree with that. Some women believe that they are 70, 30, if you're doing 70% of the housework or all of the housework, I don't know. But you already know where I stand when it comes to uh, being a partner. I'm not looking for a father. I'm not looking for a parent. I'm a grown woman. And as a grown up and as an adult, we are supposed to be responsible for taking care of ourselves financially. Now, of course, if we have children, that's a whole different ball game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the husband definitely takes care of his children financially. I'm more concerned whether you're going to look out for me spiritually and help to build me up. How can I continue to be the light in this very dark world if I'm not being built up spiritually? How can I send my children out into the world to, to shine like the bright lights in this world of darkness if my children are filled with darkness because they have no spiritual... Uh, the man is not providing spiritually for our family. So that concerns me. That's number one with me. But you already know where I stand. And if you see things differently, 
I'm not angry at you because you're entitled to your viewpoint. I understand. At the same time, now, when it comes to dating, I think that a man should definitely pay for the dates. I think that's masculine. Yes, he should open up car doors. He should help you with your coat on. He should pull out seats. And that's being a gentleman. A man wants a lady who conducts herself. He wants a woman who conducts herself like a lady. And I think it's fair to say that a woman, she wants a man who conducts himself like a gentleman. Treat me like a lady, you know? Uh, when it comes to the bills, first, when it comes to some man taking some woman to a five star and you spending $300 and $500 on a date, let me tell you my viewpoint. You're a jackass, you're a simp, and you're an idiot. You don't know this woman. You don't even, what? I uh, know that that's just taking advantage of someone. And I keep thinking about, I can't help. It won't leave my mind. Matthew chapter seven, verse 12. Treat people the way you want to be treated. None of us want anyone to take advantage of us. Or, to, you know, that's just ridiculous. But my first dates, I prefer five star, but five star don't have to be all that expensive. If the service is great, the decorum is awesome. The food is mind blowing. Like you have like over, around where I live, I love to go on Wolf Road. Um, I like Saratoga Springs because they have five star restaurants and they're not all that expensive. How much do I think a man should spend on a date? Um, oh, let me see. Cause when I go to the, me and my son hang out a lot and I go to the Aloha Crab, my son is very... <laughs> <laughs> whatever, <laughs> frugal. And I like to have like what I want. And sometimes I'll spend $80 on just myself. But a lot of the times they have like the, they have the $40, $30, $39 of whatever. So if he's paying $50 for me, let's just say 50 and he's doing 50 for him, that's a hundred dollars. And even that's a lot. For a date, I, I don't know. But, and, and I'm not no pick me, so God knows, you know, I'm far from that, honey, because I recommend women stay single anyway. It's so much easier and more, more peaceful and it's safer. But I think you spend, a man spending, I don't know, um, $50, 70? The Bible says seven symbolizes completeness. So let's just say $70 for both him and me. You're getting to know me. I even like coffee dates. I love coffee. If you could take me for a good cup of coffee and some dessert, but you know I'm diabetic, so I have to watch the carbs, but we good. I got my insulin. <laughs> and we could do the coffee date thing. I like to play table topics. If you're not interested in playing table topics, you're not the man for me anyway, because I'm trying to get to know you and you should be trying to get to know me and this way we get to ask each other questions, getting to know each other. You know, these dates can be stupid, crazy fun. Like there's this game that I like to play also. It's the charades app. You know, like you put the, it's charades and you could get the app and you could play it right at the table and it's fun and you're constantly laughing. You're constantly just having the time of your life. And then you also have dates like going bowling. Everything don't have to be about food and restaurants. And like a good movie. I know movies these days, honey, damn near got to give up your first child. But, you know, movies are cute. I always like my hot dog, popcorn, and a small diet drink. I'll do the small popcorn thing. And that's like almost eight bucks. A hot dog is what? Seven, eight dollars. Man, I could get a whole pack of freaking Nathan's or Hebrew National, the, the, the kosher one. What? What? Sitting around here spending $300 or $400, $500 on a date. No, baby. That's not the woman for you. No. That's just ridiculous. And that's taking advantage of someone as far as I'm concerned. But um, when he says that a lot of these men, there's a possibility also we have to take into consideration due to imperfection. You have a lot of men who are born with more estrogen not to mention how much estrogen they're putting in the water, how much estrogen they're putting in food. Did you know that there are certain foods that men should not eat because it has so much estrogen? My son was telling me about this. You have certain foods like flax seeds, soy, peaches, garlic, 
red wine, sesame seeds, um, certain type of peanuts like cashews, almonds, peanuts, and pistachios. All of these are great sources to produce estrogen. And it raises the estrogen levels and there's certain meats that men should not be eating either. It increases estrogen. And maybe that's one of the reasons why we have so many of these men who are being more feminine and, and they're more in their, uh, you know, they're, they're feminine. And there's certain medications that increases estrogen in the body and like certain things that men can eat and it causes them to develop breasts, you know? My son was almost, well, he works out a lot at the gym too. But the thing is, you have to be careful. But he made some very, very excellent points when it comes to, you have a lot of men who they're, they're goofy. You know, they want to um, do, or they want to receive the things that women, I'm not going to say entitled because I hate to use that word entitled. That means you don't earn it. You don't have to just do nothing for it. But, you know, when a woman goes on a date, she spends a lot already when it comes to her hair, her nails, uh, something nice to wear. Hopefully she's dressed like a lady and not a, 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 a street walker and she doesn't look like a, a hussy. But she puts a lot of effort into that. And the reason is because I think we are all aware that men are visual creatures. Women are visual also, but not as much. We are not as shallow and as superficial as men. And that takes money. You know, she spent a fortune already trying to doll herself up to look like the vision that you, you, you will appreciate. And another thing I want women to understand, because I've noticed this and I've gotten several text messages, Sheila, you know, when a man pays for dinner, he automatically feels that you're supposed to sleep with him. You know, how should I handle that situation or what should I say to a man like that? And here's what I tell them. You have to let him know, you know, I understand that you paid and I really appreciated that, but I want to be clear, very clear. I didn't agree to any kind of transaction or any kind of exchange. Now I'm not something that can be bought or, or owned. You can't own me, sweetheart my time and my company, I gave that to you freely. And anytime a man is, 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 is in my company and you already know how I feel about time, honey, I got clocks in every room. I walk around with two watches on my arm. So my son be like, mom, we got to talk about this. <laughs> I was like, you let the man know, I really appreciate your generosity, but that doesn't mean that I'm obligated to reciprocate with my body. Are you kidding? My body can never be bought, sweetheart. For one thing, my body is very, very sacred. And it's worth way more than any amount of paper that you have spent here. You know, now, when we got together, we did not agree on any goddamn exchange or any transaction. So, you know, if that's the kind of thing that you were looking for, you have a lot of sex workers out here, sweetheart, who could enjoy a good meal and who would love to be at this amazing restaurant. But like I said, I appreciate your generosity, but that doesn't give you any, any, any right to my, to, and how the hell do you think that's a fair exchange when you really think about it? How is it a fair exchange? You can spend paper, you giving me paper over something that's sacred. You know, my body is sacred because our bodies, we produce life from our body and that's sacred and that's spiritual. Let's talk about that last orgasm that you had. You know, that out of body experience, that spiritual, sweetheart. That's something very special. This minute piece of paper that you're spending, that will never, ever be a fair exchange. So now let's come up with something else. Because what else do I bring to the table? If we, if you would take the time to get to know me, instead of trying to, you know, walk around with your eggplant in your hand, I can bring a lot of um, things to help you out. Or, you know, I was hoping we, we could make it a connection. This is what I was hoping for, you know, uh, uh, upon this dating thing that we're here on. What I was hoping was that we could, we could form a genuine connection based on mutual respect and consent rather than you expecting something in return for a meal 
or for a trip. Are you kidding me? Now, I understand that you may feel like you've done something, you've done something nice for me. But I want to, again, allow me to reiterate and put emphasis on this, sweetheart. I want to make it very clear that I don't owe you anything, especially not any sexual favors. Like I already said, I appreciate your kindness, but I have the right to make my own decisions when it comes to my body and relationships. So let's be clear. Paying for something or doing something nice for someone doesn't mean that you owe them sex. Now let's respect each other's boundaries here and treat each other with kindness and with respect. Now, if you would have taken the time to get to know me, you would realize that I have emotional support, intellectual connections, you know, we can engage in stimulating conversations because, you know, I'm not one who likes to talk about a bunch of nonsense. We can share different perspectives on things, you know, when it comes to companionship, I'm one hell of a friend to hang out with, dude. You, you're not going to find. How about this? I'm one of the best. I'm not going to say I'm the very best, but I'm damn sure one of the best. I can help you with pers personal growth. I have a unique perspective on, you know, the way I look at things, my viewpoints, my, my, my insights. What about teamwork? And what about spirituality above all else, sweetheart? There's a lot that I have to bring to the table. Just say the truth. You're not interested in what I have to offer because the only thing that you care about involves your eggplant, whatever. Who got time for that bullery? So uh, no, thank you. If you'd like, I could cash app you back the money that you spent on my meal and I will. No, I have no problem giving that back to you because you're out of your rabbit mind anytime you think that my body, something that's sacred, holy, spiritual, and special, is worth paper. You, you, you're crazy. So there you have it, girlfriend. You have a rebuttal. I gave you some ammunition to fight back with when these dudes try to sit up here and try to tell you because I paid for a meal. You, you, what? Man, ninja, you know, lost your rabbit mind. There you go, honey. But again, it's no longer drizzle, drizzle. It's now fizzle, fizzle for these passport bros. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.